Hey everyone, hopefully you guys are all doing pretty good. Today we have a video uh, and it's going to be this little guy. It's the uh, transporter bag. It's available at GameStop. And I had to say right off the bat, uh, I thought when I got there to the store, I was looking at pictures online. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. I thought it was going to be more of the size of a, like a laptop bag or something. I'm not sure why I was thinking it was going to be bigger. But when I got there, I was like, oh, wow, this thing is actually really little. But uh, I had to say that, uh, yeah, this is going to be a product that I'm going to keep. The uh, build quality is really good. If you guys are traveling on the tube or you're traveling in the subway or just in school and stuff like that, this is probably going to be perfect for you. If you're looking for something a little bit bigger, uh, you might want to look in a different direction. But overall, I have to say that this is actually really cool. So just for size references, I'm going to put a little Nintendo game case there. This is the typical size of a Nintendo game uh, case and also the Switch. So you can see it is pretty good size. I, I do have to say that it is. Uh, it feels like a really good product. It does feel... I didn't know at first it was a until I got into the car and I looked at it. I was like, oh, wow, this is actually a Power A product. So uh, I didn't know that. I thought it was actually just a Nintendo product. So but it is officially licensed. It does feel great. The Velcro or the uh, hook and loop uh, system on this is really good. There's some sort of reinforced uh, cardboard in there, but uh, the, it just the Velcro is actually really tough to get off there. And then uh, we see the little Powerade branding there. And I, I just have to say that it, it surprised me. It really did surprise me at first. I was like, oh man, I thought it was going to be bigger. I was going to use it for different purposes. But yeah, this is actually, it kind of won me over. So uh, we look at it there. It has two different compartments. These are nicely uh, padded little uh, sections here. There's one up here at the top that's for more than likely like your, your Joy-Cons or your Joy-Con straps or whatever. And then the bigger one is uh for the uh, switch itself it's for the uh, light and it's also for the uh, regular uh, og led uh, and i think it's going to also fit the oled i don't have an oled to check it out so i can't tell you that for sure but it does feel like as there will be plenty of room there for the uh, oled as well it does have spots for eight little game cartridges and i have to say they're pretty cool they have like, this little mesh i thought it was just going to sit in there but it, it catches on the little net and the uh man the zippers are pretty cool they have this rubberized feel to them all right it just it feels great it, it does feel like it's premium it's good quality zipper there and the, the rubber part is really good and at first i was like where in the world uh, i thought they were missing a piece uh you know i was like where is the switch gonna sit and uh, i just keep forgetting how small the switch is and uh, it just fits into that pocket but overall i have to say that yeah i'm pretty impressed uh here in this part we have like i said the uh cartridges and then we have a little mesh where you can stick some cables in there maybe a power cable or something like that i am going to try to show you different scenarios that i use this for it's not going to fit some of the bigger like the um, hori split pad pro it's not going to fit both of them in there it will fit one or the other uh it does fit both both joy cons and your switch in the bottom compartment but if you're looking for uh, something for like the oversized uh, or the regular size controllers they're not going to fit in here too comfortably. I did go through a scenario where I put the uh, I put the dock in there, and uh, I always try to put some other stuff. It does fit a little snug. It does add like a little bit of uh, it makes it look a little bit bigger, and it does kind of uh, stretch the uh, the zipper out and stuff like that. So yeah, overall I like it. It's premium quality. It, this is going to be like a spill resistant. So uh, if you spill coffee on this, you can easily wipe it off or, or juice or something like that. It's going to be really good. Now in the back part, it does have a little slot in here where you could put a Nintendo game case. I just put a case in there and it looked pretty good. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. One thing I absolutely loved and it came in this little uh, bigger compartment is the uh, strap for the shoulder. So it has this rubberized feel to it. And I love that. It feels great when you put it on. It's like, oh man. It's a nice, soft, rubberized feel to it, so I really enjoy that. And I had a little bit of fun to put some of the uh, Nintendo 64 uh, keychains on there. I'm not going to keep them on there. I've already actually already taken them off because they they probably will break. the uh, The keychains are plastic, so I don't want to keep them on there. But overall, I, I, if you guys are looking at getting this, I would say definitely. Um, if you need something a little bit bigger, then uh, you might want to look in a different direction. I just for some reason thought it was going to be a lot bigger. But overall, it won me over, and 
yeah, I'm going to be keeping this little guy. I can use it for different stuff, uh, for flashlights, GPS, and all that. And I just have to say that, yeah, overall, it won me over. Like I said, I love the color schemes. I love how it uh, has different little faux leather here and then different gray scale on there. But I kind of wish they had different color schemes as well. But yeah, that's one of the things that I was just looking into. And I was like, man, this is going to be pretty cool. So I want to throw it up here on the channel. So I just want to give you several different size comparisons so you can see what this actually will look like. I do have another carrying case and I throw it in there as well. And if it's in there, you can probably make this work for a ton of different things. I would just be really careful with the joysticks on the joy cons and either whichever one you throw in here. I just would be real careful that they wouldn't get like pressed up against and then, you know, for the whole time you're traveling, it's uh, the joysticks been pressed in or being uh, pushed up or something like that. I just I like taking care of my stuff. So that's why I mentioned that. Overall, just the uh, stitching, I feel really confident with the stitching. There's only one spot on here that with the uh, hook and loop or the uh, Velcro, it, it just it might just come off, you know, at one point. Uh, but overall, build quality is great. Like I said, I feel I would feel really comfortable throwing this in the bag and uh, putting my switch in there and it'd be nice and well, well protected. So, yeah, if you guys are looking forward to like getting this, then I would definitely recommend it. It has this little handle on the top. It has the... Uh, the way you can throw it over your shoulder and I just I don't know the only thing like I said I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger so um, I was like where in the world is that leather you know like on this carrying case it has like a place that goes over your screen so I was like where is that gonna fit but it does fit perfectly into this little uh, slot here in the bottom but yeah it actually looks pretty good it has Nintendo branding on there which is great and I had to say that yeah this is this is a good little product I, I picked it up on sale for $19.99 so I was happy with that. So overall guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my honesty. And just to show you how this product would actually look if you guys were to purchase it, please look at the channel. If you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. I do Spanish and English language videos and I do inspirational and motivational. If you guys are okay with that, then I'd love to have you. All right guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out. I'm gonna throw this in my bag and get going, but I will see you when I see you.